Today is going to be a better day than yesterday. Yesterday was not a good day. <laughs> my hair is all curled because I had crazy night sweats last night. This is a pregnancy symptom that I forgot about. So a lot of women say like, once you have your baby, you forget about how hard pregnancy was and that's why you get pregnant again. Or you forget how hard birth was and so then you were like, I could do that again. Cause you're so excited about having the baby. Now, that happened to me with the birth. I remember my birth being like magical. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't, I'm sure it was awful. Um, but I remember like almost enjoying it. Like it was hard and I remember it being very painful, but I didn't think birth was that bad. I thought pregnancy was awful. And I have always claimed like, I don't forget anything bad about pregnancy. It was so bad, like I hated it so bad. And that has all remained true, but there are small symptoms that I forgot about. And and that's one of them, night sweats. I will wake up soaked, like just completely drenched. I asked my doctor why it's happening right now. It's not a big deal, like it's not hurting me. I just like, it's just so weird that I wake up soaking wet. And because I have naturally curly wavy hair, my hair obviously when it gets wet, it goes like you. She said that it's because I've started lactating, my body's producing milk and causes me to sweat a bunch, which is true. I have started lactating. And I forgot that you also, I also would get night sweats when I was breastfeeding. Isn't that crazy? The human body is so weird. I'm trying to think of something fun to do today uh, and just kind of chill out because yesterday was such a hard day. So I slept in and now I'm gonna just try to like start a new day and make it a good one and we'll see what happens. I'm a monkey. Ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, are you a banana? Ooh. 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 Are you a banana? No, no, I'm a flint. Oh, you're baby flint? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? You look like a banana. I need to eat you. I'm looking at the spiders. What you got in there? That spider. And what else? A spider. I see something over here. What is it? Right over here. A cricket. A, cr a baby cricket? Oh no. I smell a banana. Are you a banana? Hey, look at my hair. <laughs> what are you? All he wants to do is play race car and police car. Hey. He plays it with daddy, not with Pull me. Over. Eric's the race car, Flynn is the police car. We chase each other around in circles around the house. Flynn loves it, Are too fast. and Eric gets exhausted. <laughs> you can't catch me. But Flynn's favorite thing, you guys were asking the other day what he likes other than cars. He loves construction trucks and race cars and Paw Patrol are his favorite things, but he also loves, loves. <laughs> Bugs. So every day he goes out and he catches bugs. We have a lot of crickets. So it's usually crickets. Sometimes he catches spiders. There's a spider in here and a cricket in here. And he's only allowed to look at them for a little bit and then he has to let them go back to their family. They have to let them go where they found them. But he does it every day. Every day. One day there's a cockroach in here. He absolutely loves it. So you guys know how I feel about bugs. You know how I feel about bugs. And I have embraced it. I can't touch them, but I'll go out searching with him and catch them with his nets or his like little bug things. I'm in timeout. Oh no, you're in timeout? Yeah. What happened, Flynn? I was going too fast. Why is daddy in timeout? What? That looks like a silly timeout. Come here, you goose. You, you're in jail, you can't get out. Nice um, to meet you, what, Glenn. What's your problem? I don't have a problem, other than I'm pregnant and I'm kind of miserable, but other than that, I don't have a problem. I'm pretty happy. Who are you calling? I'm calling you. Oh, hello. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, what you Hi. doing? Um, you got your phone? Yeah, I got my phone. What you doing? Um, <laughs> is that, I'm gonna make you Every time he pretends to talk on the phone, he goes, nice to meet you, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so a friend of mine decorated my house for Christmas a few years ago for my baby shower, birthday party, whatever, and I asked her where she went to get the decorations and she told me and I'm here and I'm literally, I've never been this happy in my life. It's the most beautiful place in the world. <laughs> I'm so happy right now, you guys. This is the best place I've ever been to in my world. What do you think, Flynn? This is so cool. Look at this. Should we buy that tree? Or is it too big? Too big. Okay. <laughs> I 
I am in literal heaven. I am in heaven. Oh my god. This lavender tea. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. We just wanted to get out of the house for a minute and so we went to that Christmas store and now we're at a mini golf place. I don't think we're gonna do the mini golf thing. We're just like here because it's like a place that Flynn's never been and might find exciting. Flynn, did you see this big castle? So we ended up going for it, but we're only gonna do a couple little holes because I feel a little bit anxious being in public, even though outside there's not really anyone else here. I'm still getting used to this whole like getting out of a pandemic thingy. Also, I'm super pregnant, but Flynn uh, does not understand mini golf at all. And it's amazing. He kind of understands it as much as I understand sports. Yeah. Good job. Try again, try and hit it go up the rim. Good job, Flynn. You're gonna sports like me. Boom. Whoa! You did it! You did it, Pumpkin! Pull it in! Now we got so what you gotta do, Flynn. Come here. Go to Daddy! Go to Daddy! See how there's a hole? You're trying to hit the ball with your stick into that hole. See the hole right there? I got you. Good job, Flynn! Oh! You did it! Oh! So now it's Mommy's turn. Oh! Ah. I'm way too strong is the problem. I'm really good at sports, guys. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You gotta hit it with the stick hey, to go in the stick. hole. See the hole? Yeah! You got it? Yes, baby, keep going. Yeah! All right, now get it in the hole. Here's the hole behind me. Whoa, almost. Get in the hole. Ah, oh, keep trying. Whoa. You did it! Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you like skull. It's an obstacle. Whoa. Ah. You're just so strong. That's the problem. I'm too strong to putt. All day today, Flynn has been telling us about this store that he wants to go to. He said it's a new store. He said, Mama, it is not Target. It is not CVS. It is the little store. He's been talking about this all day. I don't know if he dreamed about it or he's, I don't know where it came from, but he's been talking about the little store all, all day. I'm gonna go to the little store. Yeah, me too. Ask Mommy if she wants to go. Where are you going? I'm going to I'm going to buy my juice. Well, Daddy has to open that because otherwise it's going to spill. Oh my god, Eric just pranked me so hard and I believed him so hard. You're the worst. Okay, Gus loves Flynn's little bug habitat. He loves watching the bugs. And a couple days ago, there were like two crickets in it and he knocked it over and the crickets came out and Flynn had a blast catching the crickets and then letting them go outside. But today, Flynn caught a bunch of spiders. <laughs> There's like three spiders in that thing. And I went to the bathroom <laughs> and I came out of the bathroom. Eric had put the bug thing on the ground right here, open, and Gus was like right next to it. I walked out of the bathroom and he goes, oh no. 
Gus. And I looked and I was like, <gasps> and Eric like ran over to it and I'm like running away. I'm thinking there's like spiders running around the house, but he had just let them go outside. I'm assuming if we don't let them go earlier in the day, Eric lets them go after Flynn goes to bed. Cause sometimes Flynn gets very upset and he says, I will miss them. And doesn't want to let them go. So then we have to do it when he goes to sleep. Anyway, oh my God, that freaked me out. I feel like I'm gonna have diarrhea, which would be great cause I've been constipated for seven months. But like that's how much that scared me. I feel like I'm gonna have Rhea. <laughs> you will turn. Usually never works. It worked. Hello everybody. It's time for a tortilla talk. You know, I just took a, um, well, I didn't just take this picture, but we take pictures every week to show my belly changing because that's something I regret not doing with Flynn. When I was pregnant with Flynn, I didn't want any pictures of me. I just thought I was so ugly and I hated the way I looked. And I was just like, oh, it was such a way I went about it. So I didn't take enough pictures and I regret it. And so I forced myself to take a picture every week of my belly. And I feel like the pictures that we get, like don't show how big my belly is. So like, I've been taking them every week, right? Like I have a whole album. So here's the 28 weeks picture, which I haven't posted yet. But like, my belly is bigger than that. Like every time Eric takes it, I look at it, I'm like, my belly's bigger than that. That doesn't look that big. Maybe it's because it's from the side. But like, that is, that looks so much bigger to me than the pictures we take. Am I crazy? That's huge. And in the pictures, I feel like it just doesn't do it justice. Like how massive this torpedo tummy is. So tomorrow I'm going to my brother and sister-in-law's house so that Flynn can have some playtime with his cousins. Eric, he has a, a big work thing tomorrow. So we're getting out of the house and giving him his space so he can work on what he needs to work on. It's gonna be really fun. In the meantime, I thought I would do some tortilla talk questions. So if that was boring to you, peace out. Um, but if it's not boring to you, hey, I don't know why you like this. Tortilla talk question. We all know you experience super difficult pregnancies with lots of different symptoms, but do you have any postpartum things that changed in your body after Flynn? For example, did your feet grow a size? Do you gain weight in different areas of your body now? Is your skin more sensitive now? Uh, there's a lot of things your body goes through during postpartum, especially those first few months. So I'm not going to get into that. Like right before I got pregnant with the twins, so it had been two, a little over two years. At that point, the changes my body had me since having Flynn were my skin was much different. Uh, it was much more stretchy. So even though I was like really skinny, like my skin would like I could pull on it and like stretch out, which I could not do before I was pregnant with Flynn. I have more like veins <laughs> in my boobs. For me, right after I had Flynn, I was breastfeeding a lot and my breasticles were just like, they like made me cry. They, I, they like were so scary looking to me because <laughs> there were just so many veins, like deep, dark, intense veins. And actually I already have them again this time around, like while I'm pregnant. Like I took a picture of me the other day cause I was like, I need to remember how insane this looks. Like it's so wild. But speaking of breastfeeding and boobs, I saw a TikTok the other day, someone explaining like how milk comes out of the boob and all the comments were like, what? I had no idea. So I want to know in the comments, how many of you guys know this? I didn't know this until, I think when I was pregnant with Flynn, I found out this information, but I did not know this prior. Any mom out there is gonna be like, we all know this, but if you've never been a mom, you might not know this. The milk does not come out of like one hole. I think like a shower head, like there's a bunch of little holes that like it comes out like and it sprays like a shower head. And that blew my mind when I found out about that. And then when you see it happening, you're like, this is so weird. Cause in your brain, like growing up for some reason, for me, I always thought it like was just straight shooter, like a squirt gun. Nope. It's like a shower head, a shower head that sprays in all different directions. Not a new shower head, a shower head that you've had for like 10, 15 years where there's like probably some gunk and mold. Not that there's gunk and mold on this, but like, you know, when the, the spray goes from like this to like this, it's like that. <laughs> So I want to know in the comments how many of you knew that already and if I've just blew anyone's mind. Tia talk question. What do you think Flynn's reaction will be when he holds the twins for the first time? I think Flynn will love it. He talks about the twins all the time. He talks to the twins all the time. He's always touching my tummy and saying hi to the babies. Yesterday when I was putting him down for a nap, he put his blankies on my tummy. He's like, I'm giving the, the babies my blankie. Like he like loves to share with them and talk to them. And every time I go to the doctor, when I get home, he's like, did the baby come out like he's so excited I don't know that he fully understands like what's about to happen I don't think there's any way to explain to him what's about to happen because I'm not even prepared for what's about to happen for as far as he can understand as much as his brain can comprehend he's really excited and he's really cute about it I think he's gonna be such a good big brother he even said the other day he's like I'm a good big brother <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about but he said that he was a good big brother and we were talking about the babies and he loves them he's very excited 
excited about them. He knows that I have babies in my tummy. And he knows there's a boy and he knows there's a girl. And he's named them both Buttis. And then they were both named Hose for a while. And then he named the boy Duncan Stocklin the other day. And then now I think they're back to Buttis again. Flynn is naming the twins, apparently. And he has named them Buttis. What do you guys think? <laughs> Tortilla talk. We know that Flynn didn't have a name for a while because you and Eric wanted it to be perfect, which it is. So I was wondering if you two had brainstormed any names for the babies. Will there be a theme? Will the names complement each other? Will they have their own individuality? We are so bad at names. It is so, I don't know how people like get pregnant and they're like, oh, we already have a name. I'm like, how did you do that? Like, it's so hard. Like, it was so hard with Flynn. Flynn didn't have a name for three days. And we just called him Baby. And that's why we still call him like Baby Flynn. And sometimes you'll hear him say Baby Flynn because we called him Baby for so long while I was pregnant. And then when he was born, his name was Baby until we named him Flynn. And then it was Baby Flynn. We just never stopped calling him Baby Flynn because like, that's just what we always called him. So that's why sometimes you hear Flynn say, I'm Baby Flynn. <sighs> so these babies <laughs> do not have names yet. We call them Baby Girl and Baby Boy. We sometimes Sometimes feel like we're kind of close with a girl name and then it'll change the boy name we have no idea <laughs> No, we're not even close. Like we don't even have an inkling as to what the boy's name is gonna be. The girl's name we have like, some days I feel like we've narrowed it down to two names. And then other days I'm like, nah, neither one. There was one day where we were like, okay, I think this is the name. Like we, I think we figured out the girl's name. And then the next day we're like, nah, never mind. <laughs> so I don't know, but that's kind of how we were with Flynn. With Flynn, like we had chosen the name Flynn when I first got pregnant and then we went away from it and we're like, nah. And then we kept coming back to it and going away from it coming back to it and then when he was born we we're like we keep going back to this name like this is his name so that makes me think that this name that we picked for the girl and then we keep going away from it i feel like that might be her name so we'll see i think we might have a girl name today eric said he didn't want that name so i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do but the boy name we have zero ideas like literally zero so your question is are they gonna is there gonna be a theme are they gonna complement each other there's not a theme like between their names like we're not doing matchy names it's not like all of my kids are gonna have a name that starts with the letter f they're not gonna rhyme it's they're not not gonna like go together like we're not concerned about that i don't want them to be like completely crazy different like these aren't names aren't even in the running but if we go like with like like something earthy for the girl like violet and then like they like christopher for the boy like you know like they're just not the same vibe <laughs> so it's like i want them to be the same vibe but not match does that make sense? So like, I want them both to be like traditional classic names or them both to be like more earthy, modern names. Like I wouldn't want it to be like completely separate, but maybe I will, I don't know. Cause we d literally don't have any ideas for the boy names. The names that I like, Eric doesn't like. And the names Eric likes, I don't like. And we don't argue it. Like if I like a name and he goes, no, it's done. We don't discuss it further. Like uh, we respect each other's opinion on it. So like if he says a name and I'm like, no, I don't like that. He's like, okay. And he moves on. And if I say like, oh, I really like this name. He'll be like, no. And I'm like, okay. And we'll move on. We ha are having a hard time finding one that we both are like, hmm, that's a cool name. So yeah, that's where we're at with that. I love you guys. And I'm sure there were a million other things I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight, but I didn't. Oh, we went to the Christmas store today. As you guys saw, I don't know if you listened to the podcast this week. Uh, Eric and I have a podcast and we do it every week. And it comes out on Wednesdays and yesterday our new podcast came out and in the podcast we discuss when is it appropriate to put your Christmas decorations up because I have a very unpopular opinion which is the earlier the better and he has the more classic uh, opinion that everyone agrees with which is not till after Thanksgiving boring um so i know no one agrees with me on this but i don't care i don't understand why it makes people so upset that i like my house decorated for christmas early anyway he we made a compromise where like i have a bunch of christmas decorations but they're very glittery and he's like i just don't want glitter in the house i don't want to vacuum up glitter so i have to replace anything that has glitter i've had a rough couple of days <laughs> eric was like you know i said i wanted to go to this christmas store to get new christmas stuff that's not glittery and we went there and he's like buy anything get it all you can uh, you can put christmas decorations today <laughs> i was like i'm not gonna put them up today i was like i'm not gonna do that to you and he's like no i don't care you can put them up whenever you want. it's so sweet so i'm gonna wait till november but it was really cool to go in that christmas store i've like i was so happy so that's why we went there he was trying to like help me cheer up and like he wanted to come be there as i looked for new christmas decorations and i wanted to get decorations that weren't glittery which was very hard to do because i love a sparkle anyway I said like five minutes I was leaving and then I didn't, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Goodbye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric 
have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.